Hey, Mini Flash. It's the 14th of August, 2020. I sincerely do pray you're all well. You know, this is pretty crazy stuff we got going on here. But I just wanted to show you what's been revealed to us. This is something that has value in it that can bear fruit by sharing it with people. So that's what we do. But we do see in part through a glass darkly. But anyway, Tisha Biaf, I mean, that was the last video that I did. And it was pointing towards Tisha Biaf, 29th and 30th. And then in three days, I will raise it up to the destroying of the temple. And I also quoted Exodus 19.11. And this is all regarding the 23.46.69, the 9.11 Antichrist raising ritual that's been ongoing for a very long time and they use this 9-11 day in relation to Tisha B'Av because this is the day that God has placed judgment on Israel so many times going way back way all the way back man and so I was looking at Tisha B'Av and the subsequent three days that's what I was shown I, I mean just things that I was pointed to illustrated that. And then, of course, three days later was August 2nd. And on the 4th, we have Beirut, Lebanon happen, which literally happens at 6.09 in the afternoon, the 23.46.69. And to bring in Tisha B'Av, we had Hurricane Isaiah, or Isaias, as they were calling it on TV. It became a hurricane on the 9th of Av, the ninth named storm, the earliest one on record. And check out the, the hurricane icons that they use on the weather forecast. I mean, my goodness, they're little 69s. And Isaiah's the ninth storm. The sixth verse is, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. And so it becomes a hurricane on the 9th of Av, and it makes landfall on the 2nd. The 2nd was the exact 6900th day since 9-11. The COVID-19 deaths on Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, hit 666,000 deaths. So that happened on the 9th of Av. And also on the 9th of Av, I found this really interesting. That you have two characters, one that read Psalm 23 on 9-11. The other one read Psalm 46 on the 10-year anniversary. You know, the one that signed the beam, we remember, we rebuild, on Trump's 66th birthday. You know, you just can't get around this stuff. But they were speaking, Obama particularly, and he mentioned perseverance a number of times. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. But perseverance finish its work and unbreakable perseverance. God's put perseverance in it if we're willing to persevere. The testing of his faith produced perseverance and perseverance. And they were at this guy John Lewis's funeral. He was a congressman in office for 33 years and they were in Atlanta you know the new Atlantis right and on the very same day in Atlanta Herman Cain dies at 74 the 11 I mean my goodness and Lewis had spent his three days in state under the Capitol Dome under George Washington waiting with his pantheon of God friends to welcome John Lewis into the gaggle I mean, it's insane, you guys, the things that happen. Also, on the 9th of Av, NASA launched this rocket to Mars. Perseverance, the same thing that Obama kept talking about on the same day. An unbreakable perseverance. They went to Mars, you know, the god of war, the red planet, the red dragon, right? Nasha, beguiled by the serpent. 313 Genesis. 313, the day that Trump declared national emergency. 
To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. Okay, this thing launched off, but it wasn't the only one. In the prior 13 days, get a load of this, from 717 to 730, three separate countries launched rockets to Mars. You know, the god of war. <laughs> three of them, three countries, three space shots to Mars in 13 days. I mean, that's just bizarre and, you know, not an accident. My goodness. And then we move forward to August 2nd which a lot of people don't know, is the real, the formal and official signing of the Declaration of Independence by the 56 Patriots. Okay, that's important, August 2nd. There's a reason why they use July 4th, as we saw with Trump at Mount Rushmore hailing the giants and titans of America, right? I am here as your president to proclaim before the country and before the world, this monument will never be desecrated. Now get a load of this. This is the most craziest thing ever that to me just proves several things that Israel and their involvement, 9-11 of course. And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. 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 And their involvement in the COVID. I'm just saying, they're all involved. Truly they are. But these fallen entities, their central main operating location is what the world calls Israel right now. That plot of land in the Middle East that has been basically taken over by fallen angels. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Gordy Rose explains it best. So the one thing I can tell you is they're not going to be like us. They're going to be aliens. And they're going to be, I'm sorry to say, way smarter than every single person in this room in ways that we can't even comprehend. Okay. So the death toll from the coronavirus on the 2nd of August. I'm not kidding you. Look at this screenshot I took of the very moment I saw it. Times of Israel, 16. 190,911 deaths. This is on the exact 6,900th day since 9-11. I mean, come on, people. And then it was two days later from the second. Our purpose was to document the event. I mean, come on, you guys. Two days later, we have this massive explosion in Beirut at 6.09 p.m. I mean, you can't get around this stuff. The, the fingerprints of the devil are all over this. They're showing their hand. And, man, you got to get right with God. If you don't know Jesus Christ, call on him now, knowing that you can't navigate this. No man can period man is not going to save himself Where we, we go, go one we go, go one. this is the work of the devil but anyway 6902 days from 911 beirut lebanon happens and you know what this steers my attention to is jericho where 23 us cities are attacked just like beirut lebanon we had a bunch of other explosions and fires around the world during this time period. This literally happened. 69 die in India because of poison spirits. You know what I'm saying? So hang on to your hats, people. There's a lot more to this, but I just had to point this out that there is just no question about it. We are in the thick of this ritual. So what's it all about? 
It's about the seed, the DNA, your unique identifier created by God. The devil wants to corrupt it. He wants to own it. And he wants you to willingly give it to him. So he sets his snares and traps. Do you understand? And this whole COVID thing is nothing less than a plan of the devil to corrupt your DNA, to get you to hand over your free will. You got to understand, you need to be reborn, essentially separate in spirit, born in Christ, a new creation, a 23 separate, you see, from this flesh. The 46, because the devil wants to jab you and turn you into a 69, which basically makes you a GMO. And you can be patented and owned, but you must come out of the world, or it will literally ensnare you. Seek Jesus and his counsel. He is the wonderful counselor. You understand? Babylon, USA, is about to be destroyed, and great tribulation is coming upon the earth. Pray that you are worthy to escape the things that are coming to pass. These are Jesus' words. Let us not forget who is above all of it. Get into his word and see what he has in store for you. Because this world is very temporary and is fading fast. So, just had to share that stuff with you guys. God bless all of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 